South Korean lawmakers wrapped up the fourth day of an annual parliamentary audit. Today's session revolved around the allegations against two foundations, in addition to touching on national security and safety. Shin Se-min has the latest from the domestic political arena. Things got heated at the National Assembly's audit session on Friday. In the Education Committee, the focus was on a series of allegations surrounding two foundations and a person with ties to the president who was at the center of the allegations. Lawmakers continued to raise questions about Choi Sun shil an old friend of President Park Geun-hye, who was suspected of raising funds for the Miru and K Sports Foundations. Che's daughter's admission to an elite college has also raised allegations of favoritism and cynicism between Che and the college president. Opposition party lawmakers are demanding the college president appear for questioning, while ruling party lawmakers said it is unnecessary because an earlier investigation had already cleared the involved parties of the charges. Korea's military defense capabilities were also in the spotlight. During the audit of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, lawmakers raised questions about Seoul's plans for countering the continued threats coming from North Korea, including its weapons development programs. But what dominated the session were discussions on the idea of a preemptive strike against the North, including the possible acquisition of a nuclear-powered submarine and disposition of tactical nuclear weapons. Lawmakers also examined the Public Safety Ministry's handling of the recent earthquakes that hit the southern part of the country last month and the typhoon that just passed through the area this week. Lawmakers from the rival political parties all agreed on the need to double and triple safety checks to ensure the country sees no losses. They also promised to improve the working conditions for first responders. Shin Se-min, Arirang News.